Um, ben asks, what about Mitch Cleary's treatment? What are your thoughts? Now, finally, we neglected to talk about this on the podcast today, and I'm dirty on us for... Yeah, no, it's a good point. Well, if you want to read my thoughts on it, at least, um, I wrote a column for ESPN, which is also on the Footyology website today. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was a ridiculous overreaction on the part of the AFL administration and betrayed journalistic ethics. But I think that's just a symptom of a few worrying things that are going on with AFL media at the moment, where um, not just uh, integrity is being sacrificed for commercial interests, but I don't think the readers, uh, what the readers want is being attended to either. And the website, frankly, is the least user-friendly website of any sporting competition in the country. It's pathetic, to be honest. So if you want to read that's on the footy on the easy user friendly footyology website now because I think it's a real issue. I think the the least sporting fans deserve is that the competition they're following, the official site of that competition, has an easy to follow basic score and information service. And they've given that up for anything that can be monetized and for audiences that actually don't give a toss about the game. And I reckon that's pretty stupid. All right, Fanny, give us your turn. Now, just before the team, on that issue about um, uh, Mitch Cleary, I'll forever admire Brooke Cotchin for the stand she took. Yep, yep, she's very supportive of him. Remember yep. that she was the person named, yet said, in no ways would I was I behind or approve of it. Very, very upright behaviour by her. And also... You know, there's this thing that happens now in media organisations and other organisations where people say, look, I have never been directed by management to do anything mm. because they don't need to because they know the they know what it is is expected of them. What does that, hang on, wait, what does that remind you of? Does that remind you of a certain media organisation? Reminds you of a certain um, Third Reich that ruled for a certain period. But there's any organisation that can, without actually... Um, enunciating or or publishing their rules have rules that by which people follow should not be proud of themselves. There's no, that's not anything to be proud of. That's jackbooting. Yeah, I tell you. Yeah, no, no, I agree. 